Hello Ken, welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, thanks for tuning back in. Um, I'm really enjoying this series quite a bit, and I hope you are too. If you are, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, drop a comment down below, and uh, click the bell to get a reminder when more videos come out um, to get notifications. Um, so, this is College Football Revamped. I'm the offensive coordinator for the Michigan Wolverines. We have played our way into the conference championship, and it's rematch time. Uh, Northwestern, they have dropped to number 14, but I have no doubt uh, this, this game will be as tough as the first time around. They gave us quite a fight. But before we get to that, let's get to some recruiting notes. I did get just a couple of commits before closing out the regular season. Wide receiver Adrian Carter committed, number 38 overall wide receiver, and strong safety Fred Cox, number 9 strong safety. So, a couple of pretty solid players, um, depth guys probably to start, and maybe they develop into starters. On the bright side, Jared Humphrey and Terry Cutler still have not committed anywhere, so there's a chance to pick them up in the offseason, uh, if I'm still at Michigan anyways. So they're still in play, which is really good. Those are two guys I had identified at the beginning of the year hoping to pick them up, but wasn't able to do it during the regular season, so we'll see what the offseason brings. Um, I have a new formation that I created that we're going to be testing out this week. Um, it's still a, uh, a five wide type of offense, two tight ends, three wide receivers. It's all new. I changed the alignment of the formation. I added all new plays. So I'm pretty excited. We'll see how it goes. Look forward to it, to unveiling it. But all that aside, let's just hop right into this. Rematch against number 14 Northwestern Wildcats for the conference championship. Pretty excited. Um, I'm sticking with Caden McNamara, quarterback. I think he has really separated himself these last couple weeks in the new offense. Um, his accuracy and decision making has been pretty good. Not great, but good enough. We've been moving the ball pretty well and Hi, scoring some touchdowns. Rick and Rick and hopefully our defense NCAA continues to play really well. If they do that, I like our chances at winning. If the defense struggles, then... We could be in for a really long game. All right, my pass offense, number five, nice. Rush offense, last, obviously, I don't run the ball much anymore. A lot of rushing touchdowns, though. Guess when we get down there in the, in the red zone, we do like to run it. All right, let's do this. And you can be sure that each of these teams are ready to lay it all on the line. Ready to lay it all on the line. I'm going to kick. Get that defense out there. Like I said, I like putting them on the field first. Yeah. They've been playing really well when I get them out there right away. They really set the tone, set the tempo. So here's my formation. Empty Gamma. A little bit crazy looking. We should have some fun with it. I'm going to come out trying to run wide so receiver see toss. See if we can come out with a run. Okay, they got a guy playing on the outside there, and I don't really like that. It's audible to a pass. Steps out of bounds. Okay. The 37. They get three yards on the play. Nice little three-yard game. No problem. So they'll allow those short right, let's switch it up to, to our empty. Uh, let's go five wide. Wide receiver dive. Mix in a little run game here. It's second down. Five guys will be out the I'm liking the look they're giving me for the run. Good. Pretty good blocking. Nice gain. Good work, Giles Jackson. Mr. Do it all for me. Third and two. Hmm. Let's go 61x choice. I like a third and short. Uh, any short uh, situations. I like running these mesh routes underneath. Doesn't always work, but does pretty well for the most part. We have a couple linebackers sitting on the inside, so we'll see. Okay, they brought him. It's going deep. Yikes. Could have gone the, in the middle there on the post route. We're pretty open. It's unfortunate. 
All right, I decided not to go for it. Let my defense do their thing. We'll reset the offense. Try again. Okay, he's going for it. Ooh, catch the catch the bout, catch it off the uh, deflection. That's the word I'm looking for. Ooh. He just dropped it. He did, didn't he? It's a bummer. Second down, ten yards. I'm gonna flip this play. We have a bunch of bodies out here this time. I'm audible out of that. Send Bell on the fly. Send Jackson underneath. Dangerous pass. Nice job by Eric Hall to bring it in. It's a little dangerous. He had the defender draped all over him. But hey, it worked. It's a good pass. Can't argue with results too much, right? I don't think so. Try a little 60 slide. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 36. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Ah. And the Northwestern defense is just stout. We struggled to get anything going against them last game, too. Really struggled. Really struggled to find anything that would work for us. Um, big screen, slot screen, nope. For the bubble screen. The there we go. Was able to stop this offense short Let's try that. Down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time they were unable to move right, the ball. It's a good little game. We'll take it. Converting on a fourth down. Get the football back. Let's see if they can reestablish. I, I need to uh, reestablish a little run game here. Would be be a little helpful. Second and if we five. can get that going a little Ball bit. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Try this little toss play. Makes it yeah, they closed out pretty well. We got three yards out of it, but I was hoping for a little more. If I'm being honest. A little misdirection inside handoff. Right, they got double linebacker. Try just a little quick pass here. He's, He's gonna take off with it. I like it. Good decision. Slide. Beautiful. <laughs> Decided not to take the hit this time, and I am a okay with that. It's good decision. Good decision. Let's see if they stack the box on me again. Mm, not as much. Might be able to get this out there. Wide receiver screen play. Yeah, not bad. Right around the 40. Not bad. So we're not getting a lot out of the screen, but it's basically our run game. So five yards is solid enough for me to keep trying it. They'll spread the field with five wide. Okay. So we get some blocking. Oh, we missed the handoff. I think there's something wrong with that play when I flip it. He uh, he always misses that handoff, which is kind of a bummer. Not really sure why that is, but it is what it is. We played one. Still no score. Alright. Something down the field a little bit here. They'll line up with five wide see if we get time to actually get a pass off. I've been sending some blitz. Okay, get up there. Beautiful. Good conversion, Giles Jackson. Good job working underneath, getting yourself open. I like it. I like it. Um, little switch curl flat. Ball on their own 49. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. I'm going to open underneath. They're just dropping out into zones, it looks like. Those drag routes are just getting underneath the linebackers, getting a couple yards. It's going to prevent us from getting any big plays, but I don't necessarily see a problem with that. 
If we get consistent yards, that's fine too. And this play is number eight on the drive. Try a little inside run backfield. here. Here's the give. And he makes it out to about the four three yards. Four yard line. That's decent. That's decent. Northwestern's defense is probably the toughest defense we played all year. They're pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Let's go 60 HY option. Nine of this current drive. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Fires in a wow. Reception. Like, really? Where were you throwing that? Who was he throwing that to? There's nobody there. I'm confused. So is McNamara, apparently. <laughs> Uh, wrong color jersey, bud. The offense comes That's the wrong the color. Drive, and they were hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Complete brought down. Nothing to Easy little pass to the Q-Banks underneath. They're stacking that side. I might try to look to get uh, U-Banks open a little bit here. We're on switch dig. And see if Eubanks can make a good decision right here. He's got a safety playing over top, but maybe he can beat him on the break somewhere along the way. Now he's Nothing and they there. Him down yeah. for a sack on the, play. the linebacker came over, so Eubanks was actually double covered that time. Kind of a bummer. Linebacker went out and took him, and they had a safety over the top. It's not great. Um. 60 streak X option. They come out in a five wide set. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can find something. Ooh. No, we can't. What a grind. What a grind this is. So far, it's just been a defensive battle. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being Something stopped on a, slant. a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just a quarterback. Oh my. To Almost throws another the interception. I think it starts up front. The veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership I'm really sure what McNamara is looking around. at out there on the field. He seems a little confused. He definitely seems a little confused. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 22 yard line. In the shotgun and five wide out. Got numbers out there. Hopefully we can both block this, uh, block it well. We do. Nice play. Having a hard time talking. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, yep. delivered Very nice. the pass, and Very his receiver nice. made a good catch to move the sticks. Very nice. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five wide set, and the defense counters to the with outside. Their look. A little speed. Speed sweep. And they get nice yardage nice. on that run. That makes it second and Pretty pretty nice. Um got a slot screen out here. And my deep, down, deepest receiver gets a screen. Ball on the thirty seven. Ready, five eighty. Why? Eighty. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, should have audibled out. <laughs> Definitely should have audibled out of that. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Here's third and nine. Ball in the 34. Mm-hmm. I could just try to hit Eubanks on an out route here instead of trying to get him up the field. Maybe he can run for it a little bit. Nope, come out in the zone. And they're gonna have Nothing there. The, the offense really had nowhere to go Ow. on that one. Was... We are having a hard time getting anything going. Thankfully, so are they. But my goodness, we are not finding anything. Now's when you start to approach each 
each drive, thinking hmm. that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. There we go. There's a little something down the field. Nice. Nice little pitch and catch. McNamara finds Cornelius Johnson going over the middle. Pick up some decent yards. Let's go. Ah, uh, six to go. On the 46 yard line. First down. Offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Hit yeah, it just takes him too long to get that throw out to the flats, unfortunately. If he had a little bit more arm strength, that would that would work out much better. Um I need to find a way to get that linebacker. The linebacker's just sitting in the middle in the zone. Playing two deep safeties. There you go. Timing on that throw is much better than the last time we tried to run that play. Let's see what kind of look they give us on the bubble screen again. And we did pinch the linebacker out there. That slant route underneath those verticals. Yep. Nice. I, I think that, that worked in the last game against, uh, remember if it was Northwestern, Iowa, or Ohio State? I've used that before. I don't remember which game it was, but had similar success. Is that linebacker going to go out there and cover him in the bubble? Oh, he went into his own. Good. Yeah, baby. Bubble screen. Six. I like it. Finally. Finally. Broke free a little bit on that drive. Couple plays down the field. It's a well blocked screen play and we'll take it for six. Good job by uh, Giles Jackson setting up his blocks on the screen play. Bounce it to the outside. All right. They respond. Thankfully, we only give up seven. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown yeah. on that last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are That's... in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Not much going on that one, was there? Sorry, I'm moving around a lot. Get a little antsy. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Things aren't Michigan working quite the way I, I want them to. All right, there you go. That's a better run. I like it. It's very nice. Very nice. Leave the outside open for me. a little bit. That linebacker's out there, but we'll see if we can beat him to the edge. Good block. Shoot that safety. Hoping he put a move on him. Alright. Just a little gutsy. Get up there. There we go. Nice. Make the stop around the 38 yard line. Nice, nice. First and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. For formation gets a little more extended when it's out in the on the wide side of the field for some reason. I'm not really sure why that is. I'd have to take a look at that. Right. He doesn't away. like it. Gets rid of it. 
It's okay. Uh, let's go back to the bubble screen since it worked so well on the last drive. Out of the quads formation. From their own 38 yard line. Second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gave me a similar look as last time. Nice. Breaks that tackle. Giles Jackson's doing some work on that bubble screen. I like that. I like that. I like when we can get screens going for big gains. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Okay, we got the blocks. Good. Nice. Now we're getting some screens going. Here's the eighth play of the series. Try a little toss play here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Ooh. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Good little gainer. So if we're going into the fourth quarter. Michigan holds on to a slight lead, leading 7-3, to three, going into the fourth. It has been a defensive battle in this Big Ten Conference Championship game. Nobody having luck breaking their offense out into some big gains. I had a few plays, but for the most part, we're just having to slowly pick our way down the field. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Did not get a block on the middle linebacker. Patty's going to eat us up if we keep leaving him unblocked. Patty Fisher is a solid linebacker. Very solid. Keep leaving him like that. It's not going to go well for us. Try a little 60 slide here. They come out on an empty backfield. He guns it. Oh, oh baby. Stay in bounds. Ooh, Ronnie Bell breaks free. Nice. Good find. Good find. I like it. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. It's been a fit an efficient day for McNamara. He's just they're just not giving us anything down the field. They're not giving us any good looks here either. It. Ooh, threw it late. If he'd have thrown it right away, probably would have been there. Bummer. It's a bummer. Okay. Let's reset. And this is the 12th play of the drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. That's not going to give me much in the run game. Oh, wow! Ronnie Bell with the acrobatic catch. Did you just do a somersault while catching the football? Just for just for showmanship. <laughs> oh, his leg got caught up on Giles Jackson. Great job holding on to the football, kid. It's a big score for us. Gives us a little bit of a cushion. It's fantastic. aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Defense See if we can block Patty Fisher back. this time. Okay, we do get off on him. He makes it out and the we leave the defensive end line. for some reason. And we cut back into him. So not, the, not the best play in the world. Not the best play in the world. That's okay. Reset. Let's pick up some yards on this one. Get a little third and short. Try a screen. It was a good quick throw out there. We just didn't get that. We just missed on a block on the outside. Yeah, too many guys out there. Okay. Well, let's go back to the bubble screen then and see what kind of look they give us. Maybe I'll audible out of it if, I look like the, if it looks like they're stacking up out there. Yeah, it's a pretty similar look to what they gave me before when I've had success on it. See if the linebacker drops into a zone or if he rushes out there. Okay, back into a zone. 
gets too long to throw it. I mean, just because the DN stepped up there doesn't mean you couldn't float it over the top of him, crying out loud. Uh oh. This offense comes out on the field again. Kind of backed up here. The last time out. Not only does that affect them in a negative way, but okay, good job getting rid of the ball. Give us a little bit of a cushion here. Confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. And for Bell, he catches his 60th pass of the season. Is it safe to say that this quarterback likes throwing the ball to this kid? It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Ooh, they'll put somebody out there this time. Sails it long. Yikes. Oh, he Yikes. It. Come on. What's the play? Nope, oh, they keep stacking a defender out there. It's kind of a bummer. Ah, we do pick up the block. Tell me you got that. Man, if he didn't get that, I've been really disappointed. There's no reason he shouldn't have got that first down. No reason. That was my little bubble screen out here. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 13. They're not giving me the bubble screen. Huh. Interesting decision. <laughs> uh, okay. Just with that little 61x choice. Right, nice little underneath play. Get us into a third and short. Keep the clock running because we caught the ball. Good, good. Run a little stick here. Just under two minutes in the game. Run across. First down. Charles Jackson having a good day. Uh, switch pro post. From their own 24 yard line. First down. game away pretty much have at this point I don't have any time out so could just take a knee here but the quarterback in run the gun, one play. backfield five wide receivers in the formation and a quick throw and down he goes <laughs> at the 33 he didn't have yeah, much of a chance fine. on that play boy this defense has a lot of speed they're all over him by the time he caught the ball um it's the three formation so not a very exciting game. Defensive battle, to be sure. We had our struggles offensively. I kind of figured it would be coming in. I mean, Northwestern gave us fits last time, so there was no reason to think that this time would have been any different. They're a solid defense. Thankfully, my defense is solid as well. So we're able to just grind one out. Let's get a 14-3 victory for the Michigan Wolverines, who are now your Big Ten Conference champions. What do you have to say about how oh, what could have been if not for that upset loss to Maryland? For the most part. 
Could have been. It could have been. I am doing the um, the playoff tool for a college football revamp, so I am going to do a 12-team playoff because that's what I think the playoff should be, and that's what I want to do. Uh, there is an option for the 14 playoff as well, but I'm going to do a 12-team. Um, also, that way I get in, and then I can play more games. But, uh... <laughs> Now, I'm a little biased. Sure. So sue me. <laughs> we'll get into the playoffs and see what kind of teams we run into. See what, the kind of damage we can do uh, in the playoffs with this offense. If any, if we run into defenses like Northwestern, then we're not going to be doing a whole heck of a lot, unfortunately. Alright, player stats. How do we do? McNamara, 30 of 40, 226 yards, two touchdowns, one pick, 75% completion percentage, three sacks is not terrible. We gave up way more sacks the first time around. I think we gave up six or seven sacks to Northwestern the first time. So McNamara continues to be efficient with the football. Um, if we could cut out the interceptions, that would be ideal, but his completion percentage has been pretty high since I switched to my custom-created uh, offense. Yardage has not always been there. It's a lot of underneath passes for McNamara, but that's okay as long as we're getting the win. Giles Jackson, six carries, 19 yards, 3.1 yard per carry average. They really did a good job of um, kind of, um, uh, what's the word, I'm blocking up the middle, uh, bunching up in the middle. They ran double uh, linebacker sets on occasion to really prevent me from running anything to the inside. Um, path, or receiving, Giles Jackson, 12 receptions, 73 yards, one touchdown. Ronnie Bell, 8 receptions, 81 yards. Those two really led us this this game. Eric All added 4 receptions. Cornelius Johnson, 3. Stranger still 2. And Eubanks, 1. So pretty quiet from everybody else, but Bell and Jackson did the heavy lifting for us today. Um, ooh, Filiaga gave up one. That's... Unusual. He has not given up many sacks this year. Zinter's given up a few. Vistardis has given up quite a few. It's really been the right side of my O-line. It's going to be the, the most amount of trouble, but we're making do with what we have. No sacks. We got one INT from Josh Ross. Nice. No forced fumbles. Right, we've really cooled off on the uh, forced fumbles defensively, but it was just a solid game defensively. Not a lot of turnovers, um, not a lot of flashy stats, but just grinding, putting in the work, stopping their offense, and forcing punts. So I will never complain about that. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up for us. Don't forget to uh, like, like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, click that bell so you can get some uh, some notifications when I post new videos. Um, I should have a new video coming out probably every day this week, so definitely hit that bell and you'll get a reminder of when the, uh, or a notification when I upload a new video. So on that note, remember all love all the time. Peace.